Welcome. This is question 12 from the grade 5 TN Ready math practice test. The question said select three numbers with values less than 12 and 13 hundredths. Now, the big deal for me is that I need to get three answers here, so I'm going to circle this. Also, because they love to do things where they high, they add extra numbers. They don't love to do it, but they do it from time to time. Well, they'll add extra numbers here. So you have to be careful. And the bigger deal here is if it's in highlighted or uh, bold text, it probably is just an instruction more than it is an actual number that you use in the question, but neither here nor there. And we want values that are less than. So I'm going to double underline that because I don't want numbers that are worth more. So then I have to think about 12 and 13 hundredths. So we're working with place value here. And generally speaking, in this universe is a word uh, that would indicate when we're moving from uh, place values to the left of the decimal point versus place values to the right. So for tenths, so I put my decimal point here, if you have one tenth here, it kind of looks like a backwards ten. It's just that the dot's in the middle. So um, for hundredths, you always just have the zero and then the decimal point. So the point where you can make these, this is tenths because it looks like a backwards ten. This is hundredths because it looks like a backwards hundredth, a hundred. And remember, if it's a uh, number to the right side of the decimal point, it has the th sound at the end. This is thousandths, by the way, so you just write a thousand backwards. Make sure you put the decimal point after the one. So when I say I have 13 hundredths, it means the number should start there going right to left, or I should put the number in the ones place of the val of the number given in that exact slot. So when I have 13, this is the number that's going into the hundredths place. If they had said 75 hundredths, this is the number that goes there. For some reason they said 652 hundredths, this is the number that would go in the hundredths spot. So since I have all that organized, I'm going to erase this nonsense. And then I'm going to write my 12 and statement. 12 and, and then here's the hundredth spot. So the 3 needs to go there and the 1 goes here. So this is 12 and 13 hundredths. So 12.13. Now, when I'm comparing them, I need to make sure that once I set them up, I align my decimals. That way I can compare them left to right. I'll just do it in column form. So I have 12. Point 072, and if you've seen any of my other things on this, I like to fill in zeros when I can, and this is sort of column-y, like I want to sort of create columns and make comparisons left to right. So in the one, in the tens, tens place, they're the same. In the ones place, they're the same. In the tenths place, this number is actually bigger. So this is a less than. So same, same, less. So this zero is less than one, so this is one of the answers that I can choose. So that's my first one, and I need three of these, so this could take a minute. Twelve and thirteen hundredths. So I'm going to combine, I'm going to do the same thing, keep my decimals in a row. One, zero, three. Even if your handwriting doesn't look great, like with this pen, my handwriting is not good. It's not great anyway, but it gives me a better chance. This is my original value. Maybe I want to put an arrow here to show this is what I'm comparing it to, and this is the actual answer. So one and one, it's the same. Two and two, they're the same. One and one, they're the same. But in this case, the three is bigger than the zero, so this bottom number is less than. So this is also a correct answer. Now... 12 and 5 tenths. So first things first, I'm going to go back and write my original number. Then I'm going to compare 12 and 5 tenths. 12 point, and this is 5. Because tenths looks like this, so the number of 5 goes right here, and then you get 12.5. Do that, make a comparison. Same, same, 
This one's larger, so this is not an answer. Erase that one, take a look at the next one. 12 and 25 thousandths. So in this case, I have 12 point one, this is tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So the five needs to go in that spot, and the two goes here, which means you fill in all your gaps with zeros. Now I'm ready to do some comparison shopping. One and one, same, two and two, same, one and zero. So this is less. Zero is less than one, so this is one of my answers. And I have three now, but I'm going to go back and check my last answer choice because I have unlimited amounts of time, and you may have time on your test and you might not. 12 and 146 thousandths. Tenths. Hundredths. Thousandths. The, 40, the 6 goes in the thousandths place. Before that would go 40 and 100. So I'm going to do a comparison that way. 12.146. Doing it column style like I've been doing it before. Compare 1 to 1. Same. 2 to 2. Same. Decimal points here. That's fine. 1 to 1. Same. 3 to 4. This 4 is greater than this number, so this is not a correct answer. So my answer to number 12 is B, D, and E. Now, do you have time to write all this out? You may or you may not. But if you have some semblance of this concept uh, or methodology, I guess. So if you can sort of match up this method in some way during the time that you have, you'll probably get the right answer uh, more likely than not. It's much more likely than if you just look at it and circle three real fast just to get it over with. You have to be in there for the full test period anyway, so you might as well take your time on ones that you can afford to because this is not a particularly difficult problem. So don't throw it away because there may be some crazy word problem later that you don't want to miss and you might be able to get this one correct to sort of balance it out a little bit.